Chris here with HRO and the Broker Collective. Um, did you know that you can absolutely lift your way to success? You can lift your way to success. And I'm going to share a story about myself I was reminded of uh, about a week ago. And I love this story because I'm such a big believer in it. But this will absolutely elevate you and allow you to reach new levels, push through adversity, and achieve breakthrough um, just by making this change in your routine. But, you know, I think back to my early days of selling, um, 2007, 8, 9, uh, probably, you know, two, three years into to my sales career at Insperity, uh, selling PEO services. Uh, and if any of you guys were selling back then, um, you know, you remember the challenges of the economy. Uh, 2008, 2009, it was brutal. Nobody wanted to spend money on anything. Business owners were, you know, on lockdown, basically. Um, and so it made an already, you know, high pressure, stressful, you know, sales position, um, you know, even that much more difficult. Um, and so one of the things that we did, I mean, I've always been a gym rat, you know, in the gym, you know, big into fitness and nutrition. And in this particular time, um, you know, a friend of mine that I did a lot of work with, Justin, um, you know, him and I you know, spent a lot of time prospecting together uh, while there at Insperity. And it was funny, everybody really kind of got a kick out of it, but it was so helpful. Um, although it was kind of, you know, kind of a joke at first, but it ended up being really helpful. But we would get together in the conference room uh, there at the Insperity office and, and make prospecting calls together, you know, multiple days a week. And, you know, it's not always easy to sit down and, and knock out 50, 60, 80, you know, cold calls, especially when you're in an economic environment where nobody wants to talk to you. Uh, it's that much more difficult. So we decided to bring some dumbbells up to the conference room. And we did that. We brought, uh, I think we brought some 30 and 35 pound dumbbells up to the conference room and people are looking at us like we're crazy. Um, but we're in there making phone calls and, you know, in between, you know, every handful of calls or so, you know, we're up walking around, getting the dumbbells, doing sets of dumbbell curls and doing exercises. And, you know, it, it, it made it fun. It lightened the mood. And, you know, as you, as you well know, I mean, working out, lifting weights, uh, it boosts endorphins, it, it boosts your mood. And so it was such a, you know, so I think we, you know, we were kind of being funny at first, but it ended up being something that really helped fuel our success, which, you know, we were able to continue uh, to have success through that, you know, I think really challenging time uh, with the economy and, and our sales career. But, you know, we were in there, we were, you know, working out in between cold calls. Not that I'm saying you should bring dumbbells and workout equipment to the office and work out, you know, while you're working. But, you know, even past that on into today, you know, I've kind of carried a similar practice where, you know, for me, um, you know, the bulk of my selling career, you know, I tried really hard to, to, you know, build my schedule to where I could have about a two hour lunch break to go get a workout in. And, you know, I would go to the gym at lunch every day, you know, I get in, I hit it hard, I prospect hard, I work hard in the mornings. Um, you know, you start to feel, you know, maybe a little stressed or a little little burnt, you know, by, by midday and you go get that workout in and it boosts you, it lifts you right back up, you know, it gets you in such a better headspace. And then you come back and, you know, you perform, you know, at your best game for the rest of the day. Right. And I still do that, do that today. I mean, to this day, I try my hardest when possible um, to get a midday workout in. It just really helps break up the day and it helps kind of get, keep my mood you know, uh, at a, in a positive place and, um, you know, keep me in a good headspace. But, you know, um, no secret that, you know, we perform our best when we're at our best. And people around you feel that, you know, if you're a person in sales, your prospects feel that, right? If you're stressed, you know, it's fourth quarter, or you're whatever, maybe you're behind on your goals or, or whatever it is, you know, you're in a, you're in a drought, a slow period. And, you know, you're not closing like you need to be or want to be, you know, you're feeling that stress, you're having a hard time prospecting and creating opportunities, whatever it is, like you, you start to feel that stress and you let it get into you. And then, and I've worked around so many salespeople that operate this way. And, you know, you can feel their tension. 
you know, they're making prospecting calls. They're, they're talking to prospects and, you know, they're not themselves. They're not in a good headspace. You can feel their tension. It, it makes them kind of, um, you know, rigid in their sales process and maybe put pressure they wouldn't normally put, um, you know, on their prospect and they end up costing themselves opportunities because of it. Um, but again, we perform our best when we're at our best and where we're at our best of people around us, they feel that too, right? So if you're doing things, the right things to take care of your body, to take care of yourself, to keep your, you know, your, your mind in a good place and, 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 and keep a positive mindset, and working out, lifting weights, you know, whatever type of exercise you may be doing, it absolutely will do that. It'll keep you in a good headspace. And the people around you feel that. They feel that positivity. I feel like for me, it's been one of the biggest blessings in my sales career that's helped me succeed, you know, at a high level. Is, uh, you know, people feel, you know, my personality, the energy, the positivity, the genuine, sincere kind of approach that, you know, I feel like, you know, I deliver day in and day out and a big part of it is is the work that I'm doing you know myself you know when you know nobody's watching it's the you know taking that time to take a break to to go hit the gym and you know get my mind right and take my mind off of things but you know I'm telling you put it into practice you know do something to get your body moving to be active it'll boost your endorphins it'll boost your mute mood and in turn it's going to boost your results it doesn't matter what you're doing I promise you it's going to make you better at whatever it is you're doing. It's going to take you to new levels. It's going to help you to achieve that breakthrough that you've been looking for. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll talk to you soon.